Remember, root rot is always caused by overwatering your plants. But if you made some mistakes, you can still save your plants from root rot. Watch this video on how to rescue and save your plants from root rot. Hey guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Sam from Among Serna, also known as the Plant Kiddos from the Philippines. But before we proceed with our video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what our next video should be all about and watch some of our previous videos. So today's topic is all about how to save your plants from root wow. rot. Since plants don't have mouths, they cannot say that they're happy, they're sad, or they have root rot. But they do show some signs that they are happy, like they are springing new leaves, they have, they have more roots, wow. the leaves are green and perky. For unhappy plants, they also have signs, so it's much more different than the happy plant. So some of the signs of an unhappy plant is their leaves are droopy, their, their leaves are also turning yellow, and they have brown and crispy edges. Usually, when they show these signs, it usually means they want something. Like if they have droopy leaves, they're probably thirsty. If they have brown edges, they're getting too much light. And if they're yellow, it's probably overwatering. So as a plant parent, you have to know these signs if you want a nice looking plant. So today's topic is all about how to save your plants from root rot. So first, we have to know the signs of the root rot. Like what, what signs do your plants give to you? Remember, root rot is always caused by overwatering your plants. And always remember, Underwatering is better than overwatering. So first, root rot is usually inside the pot. So we are going to focus first on the outside areas of the pot. So, usually when there's root rot, the plants usually turn yellow. So, and sometimes it's soft and mushy, but but most of the time, it's, it turns yellow once it has root rot. And also check on the soil. If you, if just put your finger inside it, and if it's really wet, that, there's a high possibility that, it's, that it has root rot. For the root itself, the inside area of the pot, it's usually you have to take the plant out and see and examine the root. The signs are so, soft and mushy roots, and they sometimes Sometimes the color of the roots vary to dark brown to black. And it has a foul odor. Our neighbor cut the tree there, as you can see. And our calateas started to get brown edges like this one. So we decided to water them. We forgot that this one was sitting on water, so it almost got root rot. So for this video, we are gonna focus on this plant. We left it on water because we had we had some things to do and to run some errands. It was not intentional. We wouldn't want to harm our plants. So for this particular plant, since it was sitting on water, it started showing signs of root rot, like yellow on the edges of its leaves here. So as a plant parent, we have to stop the yellowing of leaves or the root rot. So we're gonna show you how we did it. We suspected that our jungle rose, a prayer plant, has root rot because we have left it sitting in water for too long after watering it and the leaves have started to yellow with browning soft spots. We have prepared for the worst by repotting it in 
fresh soilless growing medium. So we prepared for a carbonized rice hull, about 40 to 50 percent of the mix, perlite, 20 to 30 percent of the mix, cocoa peat or moss, 20 to 30 percent of the mix. First, we have to check on the actual root condition. To do this, we have to remove the plant from its pot. This is also the reason why we love using soilless potting mix, because it is easier to remove plants from its pot with soilless mix compared to plants potted in soil. Once the plant is removed from the pot, Inspect the roots and check for dark brown or black spots, which is a sign of root rot. Check also for any fungal infection and other pests. For this plant, we noticed that the roots are not extremely rotten. However, we saw a very small worm on its bottom. Because of this, we decided not to proceed with our repot. For your plants are known sensitive plants, especially if you are disturbing their roots. So we will just proceed with our quick fix or remedy for root rots. Materials we need for our quick fix for root rot include hydrogen peroxide and water. For us, based on our experience, the amount of hydrogen peroxide will depend on the root rot condition. If it's worst, you can mix one cup water and one cup hydrogen peroxide. For moderate, one half cup of hydrogen peroxide to one cup of water. For mild, like this, we can use one fourth to one eighth cup of hydrogen peroxide to one cup of water. As soon as you pour the hydrogen mixture into the pot, you will notice that the soil will bubble. Let the mixture drain from your pot and your plant will be okay. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It's like water, H2O, but with extra oxygen on it. It helps encourage healthy root growth because of the extra oxygen molecule. Oxygen helps plants root absorb nutrients from the soil. If you discover root rot or believe your soil is dense or badly aerated, air cannot penetrate the roots, use hydrogen peroxide because it instantly gives oxygen to the roots. Plus, it helps loosen the soil so that the air can reach the roots. It also kills off bacteria and fungi present in your soil. We do this quick fix when we suspect that the plants have root rot or may be infested with pests. We usually notice our plants bouncing back from sad to happy plants. After four days, the browning on our jungle rose had stopped. We know that it is happy again because the leaves remain shiny and perky. That's it! I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe! And leave a comment down below what our next video should be all about. And watch some of our previous videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please subscribe. You want to win petonias for free? Well, you can check our other videos that 
to look at the rules. To get the winning three free petonias. Thanks for watching. Bye.